guys, it's your girl, a girl can Mac, coming at you guys today with a, another natural hair 101 video. And in this video, I'm just going to basically share with you how I condition and wash my hair. And for me, I condition my hair before I wash it. And I mainly do that because it saves me a lot of time and me being uh, the eco-conscious person I am, it saves a lot of water. This is, again, not the end-all be-all. This is not the only technique. This is simply what works for me and I, you know, gives me good results with my hair. So, if you like what you see, give it a try. If not, you know, it's just another way to take care of your hair. So, as you can see, I already did um, my right side. And so, I have three twisted sections. And if your hair comes loose and twists, you can just braid the sections instead, which is what I actually used to do when my hair was shorter. I would braid because the twists would come loose once I wet them in the shower. So what I do first is, as you can see, I have this section in the front here ready. I take, um, you can use water. I have like my own homemade moisturizing mist. And in this, I believe, is water um water aloe vera juice and grapeseed oil so it's mainly water and just uh the other two ingredients so i like to just kind of mist some on my hair get the ends good i don't make my hair like sopping wet but just um just enough to moisten it and soften it and then i just kind of gently kind of distribute it through I really focus on my ends because that's the oldest part of my hair and then I take my conditioner and I just put some in and I'm using yes to cucumbers conditioner I really like this conditioner it has good slip and it's very moisturizing it leaves my hair feeling really soft but the slip is really good, so it makes detangling really, really easy. So I just massage it in a little bit. Again, make sure you coat the ends really well. And I'm going to take this comb from my um, What Combs I Used video. And again, this is just a Conair detangling comb that you can get at pretty much any, uh, any drugstore like a Walmart or a Target. And so when I detangle, what I do is I start from the bottom, and that way it clears it so that you can just work your way up. And always just be, be gentle. If you feel a knot, just kind of be gentle and just work it out. Um, if you like to finger comb better, then you can use your fingers to comb your hair. But me, I like this comb because it's, it's really good about getting um, combing through my hair, combing through afro textured hair. And most people, um, I'm sure people are going to ask what my hair type is. Um, I'm not really like 100% sure, but I usually just say that it's, it's 4A. And I'm sure that there's some, some 4B in there, but it's mainly, mainly 4A. Okay? And so, that is pretty much that. And so then from here, I just smooth it down, and then I two-strand twist it. And again, you can, you can braid your sections if the twists don't stay in. Okay, and then I just move on to the next section. Now my hair, I do six section. I do six all together, so three on one side, three on the other. But if you have shorter hair, you can do more sections. Um, I know when my hair was shorter, I did. I would do eight sections all together, so I did four on each side. So as your hair gets longer, you can do less sections. So my ultimate. Um, like my lowest number of sections I probably do is four once my hair is long enough. So 
I take about that much conditioner. And again, focus on the ends and then move up to the, the top. Okay, and what I do is I just take the hair out from the previous section so it doesn't get caught and tangled in the, the new section that you're working on. And so again, see how I'm holding it like close to the bottom? And then you just start combing from the bottom. Be gentle, don't be like rough. If you can't get a knot out, just be, be patient with it. just keep working your way up to the top if you feel resistance don't don't be forceful just take the comb out and then just kind of lightly you know go through it but just be don't be rough just be gentle as gentle as you can be because if you're too rough you'll your hair will it will break it'll snap and mine it usually detangles a little bit better than this but I had it in a style and I left it in for a week so okay so once the comb like just kinda just goes through like like this from root to tip that means you have combed it through successfully and gotten all the knots out. Okay. And again, just take your section and twist it or braid it. Last section. And my crown area, like usually this part is the, the, like the toughest area. And this, this area is probably 4B because it, it coils up a little bit more. It's shorter than the rest of my hair just because of also where it's positioned on my head. Um, but this is like the, the coarser hair and it, it's more coily. It's, it's tight, it's tighter coiled than the rest of my hair so this this area I have to be really I have to be really gentle and patient with because this part is the one that is most prone to tangling and breaking so I usually go you know pretty slow and patient and another tip when you are you know detangling conditioning your hair don't do it when you're in a rush because you will end up losing way more hair. You have to be, you know, a little gentle and patient. So if you're in a rush, I would not I would not decide to, you know, condition and detangle my hair then because you're not going to be very kind to it. So yeah, always with detangling afro texture hair, start at the bottom and slowly work your way up to the top. Because if you free the, if you clear the way at the bottom, the comb goes through a lot easier. Okay. And so just, you know, when you feel like no resistance and the comb just goes straight through, that's uh, when you know it's you've gotten all like the tangles and all the shed hair out. Okay, and then we're just gonna twist this section.
Okay, and so now my hair has been detangled, and I'm just going to let this conditioner sit for about 10-15 minutes, no more than that. Um, I don't believe in deep conditioning. I don't deep condition, and I will talk about that in another video if you guys are interested in why. Um, if you're not, then you don't have to be, but, you know, do what works for you. For me, my hair is fine without deep conditioning. So from here, I would just... Um, Put a plastic uh, conditioning cap on, let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes, and then I will go and I will wash my hair in these same sections, leave them intact, and, you know, from there style my hair. So, I hope this was helpful in, you know, how to detangle afro textured hair and using the conditioner how to condition. So, it's just another way. Hope this was helpful, guys. Bye-bye.